Okay, here we have just a very standard loan in which you borrow money and then pay it back with equal payments. All right, so let's uh, take the amounts and put them on timeline and uh, make sure we all know what we have here. Okay, so here's the timeline. We know that there will be nine annual payments. So I'm going to call those PMT. And we get, as the proceeds for this loan, we get 7000 today. Okay, so let's think about what's happening here. As the borrower, we are swapping 7000 today for a series of nine annual loan payments over the next nine years. So in other words, $7,000 is the PV of this timeline. Okay, so this is an ordinary annuity. We've got equal payments occurring uh, over a finite period of time and the first payment happening one year from now. So uh, all we need to do is find the payment amount. I'm going to use my financial calculator. Okay, so let's get this uh, set up and make some notes before we start plugging numbers in. So the $7,000 is going to be my PV, and I'm going to enter that as a positive number. I'm going to enter it as a positive number because I'm going to think of that as an inflow that comes into my pocket that I can use. The PMT, this is what I'm solving for. I'm going to solve for this. That's what I'm trying to find, and that's going to be a negative number because that's going the opposite direction as the loan proceeds. The proceeds are coming to me. The payment is going away from me to the bank. There are nine of these payments, so that's going to be the N. And then the interest rate for the loan is 4.6%, so I'm going to enter I as 4.6. Remember, the financial calculator likes interest rates to come as percent not as decimal. So it's gonna, I'm going to enter that as 4.6%. And then finally, the calculator wants an FE. Is there an FE here? No, FE is zero. And that's because there are no payments in time nine other than what's already included in the payment key. All right, so now we just need to enter these into the calculator and solve. So $7,000 goes into PV. 4.6 goes into I, 9 goes into N, and 0 goes into FV. I can compute my payment, so CPT. Payment equals $967.36. It is negative as we expected it to be, but of course when I ask you for a loan payment you need to give me back a positive number.